Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. Today I'm going to explain how Click uses RAM. This can help resolve Click performance and computer behavior questions. You may have often wondered why certain behaviors in Click are slow, or not notice how others are fast. First, when talking about performance, there are a lot of factors to be aware of before we dive into RAM. Here's what's called the Click Performance Triangle. In short, there's the computer or environment, the app design, and the usage patterns. These can all have an equal effect on performance. In the environment, we have CPU speed, RAM speed, number of cores. In the application design group, we have data model, the data size, expression complexity, and so on. The usage pattern has number of users, selections per minute, ramp up time, and there could be a lot more factors than those listed here, but you get the idea. As you know, the engine service, also known as the Click Engine, is the core service in ClickSense. As an in-memory program, it utilizes RAM memory to store all the data for the analysis. ClickView works in the same way. There are three types of data that Click stores in memory. The original data set from the app data model, the session state for all the users in the system, and the calculated results from the user activities. This part is known as the cache memory, so that's all your chart calculations and renderings. Results in cache can be reused very quickly. That's one key to performance with Click. In the Management Console, or QMC, you can find these settings that allow you to configure how much memory Click can cache. Here's where you can find those settings in ClickSense, and here they are in ClickView. In ClickSense, it's in the QMC, under Engine, select the node, make sure you're looking at the advanced settings, and there you have the minimum and maximum memory. And click View in the QMC, you just go to System, Setup, select the ClickView Server Service, and go to the Performance tab. And there you have the working set low and high limits. For example, a machine with 256 gigabytes of RAM, using the default 70% and 90% low and high settings, will consume 179.2 gigabytes of RAM if the user demand on click is ever pushed above the high limit, 230.4 or 90%, the operating system will start to create a page file, basically using hard disk space as RAM, and that will really slow things down. Click will always work within this threshold between the low and the high. So here's an example visualization of a user opening Click applications for the first time. Whether it's in the Sense Hub or the ClickView Access Point, Click will load the core unaggregated data set that is on the data model, and that's represented here in gray. Click then makes all necessary calculations to find in the charts and objects in the app and store them into RAM so they can then render everything you see on screen in an app. That's what's happening when you see those little bubbles. All of those calculated results are cached and can be accessed and reused by all users. That's what makes opening the app a second time or any subsequent user experience so fast and fluid. You can see that in the light yellowish green. The darker green in this chart is the user's session states that's also stored in memory. Once a second document is loaded, the amount of RAM consumed by click finally reaches the low memory limit and it begins removing older cache results in order to get back down below that low limit. As you can see in the chart, user activity ends and it starts to drop session states out of memory and then the actual data from those applications out of memory. The important thing to realize here is that Click will always try to use up to the minimum amount of RAM it's allowed to and will not release cache results unless it's needed to get back to the low limit. Except for a very few functions, Click is designed to be completely multi-threaded. Therefore, it's highly scalable with multiple CPU cores. Most of the time, you'll see high spikes in all the CPU cores. This is because Click is trying to utilize all available CPU power for calculations. So this kind of behavior is a good thing and what we expect to see. If a server has high CPU utilization on average over 70%, new selections have to be queued before they can be calculated, since there is no processing capacity immediately available. There are other factors that may affect performance, but we don't have time to get into them now. I hope this helped clarify how Click's performance works. If you need more information, please search in our support portal. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.